Okay, I was taking a walk down the street the other day, and uh, I, I know there's a gentleman down the road who's uh, moving. Down. Apparently, he's throwing a lot of stuff out. I didn't realize how much, and as I was going down, I seen this in the garbage. I also got this stand, so I figured I'd make a video of it. I thought it was quite interesting. The drill runs way too fast. It's going to burn every bit out that I have if you try to drill at this speed. I picked this up. I'll put a link in the description. So, this here moves out of the way. Found some bolts lying around. I just temporarily bolted the vise. But like I say, you shouldn't use any type of uh, drill press without a vise. This was uh, an old Craftsman. You can see the model number there, 335.25987. So it's probably quite old. I can say this is adjustable up and down to different heights. And then you got the handle here, plus there's an adjustment on this side of it. So if you only want to go a certain depth, you can adjust your depth. I'm going to show you what the problem is right now. It's just that this drill is way too fast. Okay, I got it plugged in now. Now, if you try to drill with something that's going this fast and he set it up, the trigger's missing and this is wired straight in and there's uh, just a switch here on and off. But look at it. If you took a drill bit and try to drill through steel, you're going to go through a lot of bits. It's going to overheat and burn out. So you want to be able to adjust this. There's a couple different ways of doing it. I could buy something that goes on with a wheel. I can adjust the speed up and down. Or because he had a spare drill in his pile of stuff he was throwing out, he had this one. And this one, it's a hammer drill and just a hammer and then plus a uh, straight drill. This is variable. But you're going to lock the trigger down. And then you can adjust the screw here. To the different speeds. It's an old skill. All the stuff that was there was fairly old. Well, so I'm going to install this one in there. Never had this one off yet. This probably hasn't been off. Well, for now, I'm just going to uh, put it on and see if it works. Oh, wow. That comes off easy. I did, like, say, lube all this up. When I first grabbed it, it had a bunch of dust and everything on it because it must have been sitting in the shed. That's... So, that comes out. Let me set that down here. And these are adjustable to get the angle right. And see if we can fit this one in there. Hopefully this one fits in. Oh, yeah, it does. It just blow that. And I'll just adjust it off of this. You can see that. So you can see I got a ways to go. It's got to go this way. But then I got to adjust these out because it's off this way also. But essentially when you put the, okay, that's perfect. When you, you only had to set it up once because this drill is never going to come out of here. The cord is too short. I'll get the other one on there. Okay, so this one here, it's got a button on it. So, and it's going nice and slow. That's exactly what you want. And how much did you buy the one? I'm not sure what, I looked online to see if I can find something similar to this, the setup, and I didn't. I seen some cheaper versions of it, but like I say, this is this is just old, and usually they're made a little better when they're older. So I couldn't find anything as hefty as what this one is. Okay, so I'll probably take a video while I'm building the table and mounting everything, welding with my 1950s welder. <laughs> you can get a look at that. Anyway, uh, a couple of other things I picked up while I was there. That was like, say, on the side of the road, all free. Uh, a router. This is old also. Everything is extremely old. This is, uh, yeah, it's an old Black & Decker commercial duty router. Adjustment on the side. She's old, but like I say, it works. I cleaned it up also. And the drill down there. Anyway, if you like the video, thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now.